How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Where'd you come from? From Philadelphia. Really? You came from Philadelphia for this? I, of course. It's kind of far. Well, I'm, right? No, it's not far. I'm coming to Philadelphia <laughs> in five days. What? I'm going to be in Philadelphia I'm, next week. I will weekend. be there. Oh, good. I'm very, it's a great week. <laughs> great. <laughs> okay. This was an icing on the cake. Oh, very good. So I have a question. Okay. Um, and it starts with a little story. Uh -huh. I was in a temple in Hardwar. Uh -huh. Backing up, actually. Yeah, sure. Um, the question is about Hanuman, mm -hmm. but I was never really kind of intrigued by Hanuman. Mm -hmm. I was more uh, interested in Ganesha for a while. Uh -huh. So They're I was very in, similar. Ah, okay. Yeah. So I was in a temple in in Hardwar and paid my respects to Ganesha, walked around, and then kind of passed by a Hanuman on the way out. Mm -hmm. I was like. Maybe I should just say hello. <laughs> so, so I sat down and closed my eyes, and I just felt this like mm. very physical, intense something around my heart mm. that I'd never felt before around any statue, anything. Mm -hmm. um, and They're I just called Mortis. Mortis. Yeah. And I felt like he was just saying hello, wow. and I didn't. Wonderful. I don't know much about him. And you know more than I do already. <laughs> That's unbelievable. That's beautiful. And so I decided when this opportunity arose that maybe you were a person I could ask more about kind of who is Hanuman and hmm. what is his energy and and how can one <clears throat> explore him and work with him these days. Right. Um, Hanuman. is that flow of grace that connects us to our own hearts, our deepest heart, which is God. And he's, he, he, it is a being that is fully turned towards love. Really, the truth is, I didn't know anything about all this stuff until I met Maharaji. And it turned out that his people that hung out with him, that loved him, his devotees saw him as Hanuman. And in being with him and seeing how he was and how he acted and how he lived and what he said, and he got a feeling for what it's like to be totally turned towards that love, you know. And um, he, start, he built Hanuman temples everywhere, you know. And uh, he said, these people say Hanuman's a monkey, and he would laugh. You know? And his, his Hanuman is this vast presence, you know. That's the sky of the heart, you know, the space of the heart, the sky, like the sky, everything's inside of that. And it's a it's a direct connection to God, to love, to presence, to reality. And anything that enters into that is just moved directly right into that because that's what Hanuman is. And he, rem he removes all the obstacles in your life. And is a very unusual being. They say Hanuman not only gives liberation, but he also makes it possible for us to satisfy the, the desires that we have that need to be fed in, on the way to becoming free. It's not a renunciate path in any way, shape, or form, even though supposedly Hanuman was celibate. But it wasn't, there's a lot of crazy stories out there, but at least in one particular way of looking at Hanuman, he's seen as being celibate. So. But he doesn't require that in terms of his worship and his love. Everybody's included, you know. And just the way Maharaji would just remove the darkness from our hearts you know, just by being with him. This is what Hanuman does. He allows us to experience and taste a little bit of that love to lead us on into more of it. So that's what it is. But it only comes from having been with Maharaj, you know. People would come and say, oh, Baba, can you do this? Can you, you know? And he said, I can't do anything. Go pray to Hanuman. You know, what does Hanuman say when you come to him? I can't do anything. Pray to Ram. 
Ram doesn't say anything, he just does. <laughs> so it's it's a it's a it's a path of surrender into that greater, deeper presence, you know. It's like cascading presence into that love. Deeper and deeper. So and we don't work with Hanuman. Hanuman works with us. You said, how do we work with that? Forget about it. What can you do? What do we know? Nothing. But they know everything, and they're working with us all the time. And what you felt is that just what Hanuman is, what he does, he opens our hearts like that. And that gives us courage and confidence and a sense of direction that we didn't have before. And that's the direction that we have to go in. And it's so, <laughs> <laughs> it's really interesting. Yeah. And a after that happened around certain areas of my life, it just feels like the, the distance between me kind of intending and, and hoping something might happen mm -hmm. is, and it happening mm -hmm. is so much shorter. Mm -hmm. I just feel like there's mm -hmm. yeah. leaps and bounds. Yeah. That's just the vestige of your thinking about yourself. That goes away. And when you're not thinking about it, it's not being thought anywhere in the whole universe. It's just, you're here. You're in it. So the more we immerse ourselves in that, the more we turn in that direction, the more we release those constant programmed thoughts about ourselves all the time. And when we're not thinking that, if I wasn't thinking about me, nobody in the whole universe would be thinking about me. There wouldn't be any me out there. We're in there, anywhere, anywhere. It'd just be presence. But the, the thoughts that come from the past, but they come here, and here is where you release them. You let go of them by entering into that presence again and again. That's how I'm on. And Hanuman always repeated the names of Ram. Sri Ram Jay Ram Jay Jay Ram. Ram Ram. Maharaj was always, his tongue was always moving, no matter what he was doing. Ram Ram Ram. Ram. All, all the time. 24-7 he's... Hanuman is so immersed in Ram that he doesn't have any sense of himself at all. He doesn't have any sense of what he, of, that he's done the things that happened. You know, he says, when I jumped over the ocean, when I killed the demons, when I did all this, it was all by Ram's, by Ram's energy it had happened, not by me. You know, because there's, there's no being, there's no sense of separate self there. Except as a, a, a container for that love, you know. It's a completely pure uh, container. There's no personal agendas. There's nothing that Hanuman needs or wants. He's got everything he's got around. So do we. Well, we have to remember and look. So even if we forget, Hanuman doesn't forget. So it's okay. <laughs> Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Huh? Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Thank you.